In this video, I'm going to show you how you can download PDFs that were generated by the website in Safari on the iPad. Now, what do I mean by this, generated by the website? Well, let's go over to my iPad and take a look at a website that a member showed me. What they want to do with this website is download a PDF. But when they do that, there's no spot to download it. When I swipe up here, you're going to see I can view this PDF here. And when I tap on it, it opens up and I can read this PDF. But then when I go to share it, this is how we download a PDF. We go up to the share icon here. And from here, what I'm able to do is save it to my files app. But if you look, you're going to see it doesn't have it as an option. I cannot download this to my files app. So what do I do? Well, basically what's happening here is this is still within the website. This is why we have this little toolbar up here. We are still within the website. This is not what I would call a true PDF yet. So Safari doesn't know that you can download it to the Files app. It's still within the website constraints. So now what we need to do is we need to convert this into a PDF and then we can download it. So how do we do that? Well, we just go over to the download button here and when I tap on this, what it does is it generates the PDF. Now I'm looking at a PDF. This is a true PDF. And being that it's a true PDF, when I go up to my share icon here, what I'm able to do when I swipe up is save it to my files app. So now I just tap on this. And then from here, I can save it on my iPad, or I could save it in iCloud Drive. If I save it in iCloud Drive, I'm able to access it from my other devices. So let's just go over to iCloud Drive. We're going to go to the desktop here. I tap on Save. And now that PDF is on my desktop. If I go over to my Mac here, let's go over to my Mac. You're going to see I have that file here, and it is a PDF. This is the file that I saved. So again, what you'll want to do, let's go back. I'm going to close this. What you'll want to do is click on it. It's going to show you the PDF. Actually, it's not really a PDF. You're still within the constraints of the website here. But what you'll want to do is go over to the download button. This will convert it into a true PDF. Now what I'm able to do is save this. If you have to do this a lot, what you may want to do when you go to the share icon is move your save to files up towards the top. To do that, what you do is you go to edit actions here. And then what you're able to do is add save to files to the top here. And now you're going to see I can easily just save it to my files. We're going to do this one more time. We're going to go with this one here. It opens up. It's preparing the publication. I can read it. I want to download it. I tap on the download button. Now when I go to share, I can easily save it to my files app. So that's how you can save a PDF that was generated by the website on the iPad. Basically what's happening here is when you click on the PDF, you're not really viewing that PDF. It's still within the website. So if you see this, look for a little download icon. Once you click on the download icon, now you're viewing that actual PDF. And then from there, when you go up to the save or the share icon, what you're able to do is save it to the iPad. You can save it through the files app to your iPad or to iCloud. So that's how you can save PDFs that were generated by the website to your iPad. 